everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. So, some shit happened. I was walking around attempting to buy some stuff, um, and I got attacked by a guard, and then I accidentally attacked one of Griff's crew, so that was a thing. Um, <laughs> I'll cut in that footage now. <laughs> Hey everyone, we're back. So um, I was I was I was buying skills. Um, and then a magister attacked us. So uh, so that's a thing. I just w guess we're gonna do this fight. Um. I guess I can freeze this dog. Why are you warm? Because you're near the campfire. Worse than war rations, please. That's annoying. But it's something I can deal with. I'm just gonna put the dog up here. <laughs> he's no longer a problem. Unless he has a crossbow. No, he's not crossbow mounted, he's fine. Alright. Speaking of which. I'm gonna tactical retreat up here. Worse than war rations, please. Find sources so dangerous. That should do some damage. Chilled. Let's just make it official and freeze him. Okay, the Red Prince's turn again. How did you miss a target that is frozen? I'm actually glad that missed, now I think about it. Um, because I don't want him to be unfrozen. There we go. Now I don't care, but before I didn't want him to be. Alright, good. Not too bad. Um, may I still just end your turn? That shouldn't hit the girl. Unless she moves! Well, fuck. Um... I mean, I can do it. it <laughs> that was unintentional, because the bitch got up! Why did she move? Uh, well... Well, fuck me. Time to go on a killing spree. Head up here. <laughs> Jesus. I guess Griff has to go down now, because he's a problem. She's shocked, right? I can do some damage here, I think. Freeze Nusi, I suppose? I accidentally attacked you. I wish I could talk my way out of this. Um... Not a whole lot I can do in this situation, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I should. Sure. 
I mean, arguably I was going to take out Griff's gang anyway, because... Let's be honest, Griff's an asshole. <laughs> he didn't move. He just stood in the same place taking no, potions. Not like this. I won't let them. So Butter's on our side because I flirted with her. She's fond of the Red Prince, hence she's choosing to take our side against the gang. Um... Alright. Well, this wasn't how I planned on starting the episode. Technically, we haven't even started the episode, technically. Um... <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> um... There's Griff. Waltz is a problem. She has some water damage that can take us out. I want to haste myself if possible. Get Nusi out of the fight, because she can do some damage. And I guess preemptive restoration on the Red Prince, because he's going to take a bang. Uh, I can't even see the Red Prince from there. Okay, so no preemptive. Damn it. It really annoys me when they take potions and use scrolls. Um, and the reason <laughs> the reason is, is because... Did he get rid of my haste? He did get rid of my haste, the son of a bitch. Um, the reason that is, is because any of the potions and or scrolls that they use, you would have had access to had you killed them before they used them. Alright. She has the high ground, which I don't like. 19 physical armor, 19 physical armor, 62 physical armor. How much magic? 50. Okay. This will poison me, but I'm already I'm already poisoned, it doesn't matter. Um, let's get to there. Let's turn this into a hellhole to try and get up. Also, do this just to heal a bit? It's probably not a bad idea. This dog is useless, which is good. Um, I have high ground, but it's kind of useless because I can't hit anything. I can probably hit her. This banister is annoying, because I can't shoot over it. Uh, heal the Red Prince. Get rid of that poison, would be nice. Shields up yourself to get some of that magic armor back. And then, end the turn. I'm just waiting for my spells to recharge, essentially. Hasty himself, which he'll immediately lose? No, he didn't. Interesting. Apparently there was a path out of that oil, but... Disagree with it. Chloroform, I am asleep. That's unfortunate. It's fine. You're in my line of sight now. Ooh! Unloading on a needle. Uh, Noosey coming up this way. Probably fine. Probably. Um, dog, I don't care about. I'm gonna leave the dog, because honestly. Let's do some damage on Griff while we can. And then we just shoot Needle until he dies, I guess. Sure. Cloak and Dagger. Intriguing. He's using all these grenades. Razzle dazzle. So he's blinded me. That's fun. Armor piercing. 
she can't hit me from here though, so that's something. I was wondering if that was going to be the case. We're fine. She should kill Needle. There we go. Nice. For some reason he gets 500 experience, the other one gets 250. I don't know why that is, but... Oy. I want to prevent Butter... <coughs> Excuse me, I want to prevent Butter from dying, if at all possible. I'm blind. Well, great. Um... I can get to there with 2 AP. So I should be able to see Nusi. So she's shocked. Then we can do the rain to put on the stun. Stun myself, but whatever. I was blinded anyway. There's not a whole lot I could do. That's arguably a bad idea. I think fire damage is better. Don't encourage. He's drinking lemonade, he's eating onions, doing all sorts of shit. That hit me? I beg to differ. Alright, she's come up. Uh, it could be frozen. Nope, just chilled. We're lucky. Just one health left. She's standing in fire? She could die. Is she on fire? She's burning. It's fine. She's dead. There we go. Red Prince is stunned, so that skips me. Dog, then Loisa. Griff is next. Griff. God damn it, Loisa was stunned. Oh, the Red Prince is asleep. They're gonna get so many turns. Um, luckily Butter is here on my team. That wake that woke the red prince up, that's something I suppose. Um Can't see a damn thing. Take the two AP out to here. I'm pretty low on health. But she has no magic armor. So I can freeze her. It's like a, it's been 10 minutes already and I haven't even technically started the episode. It's insane. Um, so she's frozen. Put a heal on Lois. Can you not see her? She's just out of your line of sight. It's really annoying. I guess heal yourself then. Just get rid of burning something. So Lois is poisoned and burned. She's going to take a fair amount of damage. There we go, at the start of this turn. Why can you not see down there? I don't understand. Like, like she can see down from there, but eh, whatever. I think same thing. We want to get out of the fire. Something at least. Dog still up here? I think the dog. No, the dog is still there. Okay. Chop Riff like back here. Oh, I thought this was electricity everywhere, but apparently not. Fine. That's a hell of a fucking arm. Well done, butter. Which allows me to do this. Kill her. I think we're good.
Kill yourself, please. Thank you. Um, we should be able to freeze Griff here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that's the thing. We just have to kill the dog, which should be trivial comparatively. Uh, just run as far as you can this way. Alrighty then. You can shoot the dog from there, so shoot him. As long as I have three left, so take three AP to walk like there. Ah, that should kill it. Not quite. Pretty close, but not quite. Alrighty then. Oh, we're out of combat. Thank Christ. Jesus Christ. There are some plus sides to this, I suppose. I got some of the things I wanted to get. I didn't get the extra adrenaline that I was looking for, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I can get that in other ways. Jesus Christ. I got Cloak and Dagger. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, I'm, I'm going to cut. I'll be back in a second. Alright. So here we are. I got some, scale some skills. I bought these lightning spells, I bought these winter spells, and I was planning on buying um, a couple of these cloak and dagger uh, scoundrel skills, but we got into a fight and I ended up stealing them instead. Um, so we, we want cloak and dagger, that was one of the things I wanted um, on the red prince. <laughs> um, I also want winter blast and ice fan, probably both on the red prince. Let's see, I think I want Ice Fan on the Red Prince and Dazing Bolt on the Red Prince. She can have Winter Blast, Uncanny Evasion, and someone gets Teleport. I guess the Red Prince for now. Alrighty then. Uh, rupture Tendon, Sawtooth Knife, I don't care about. The Battle Stomp, I don't really care about. Um, Chameleon Claw. They can both learn Chameleon Claw, but I only have one copy of it. So, I guess we give that to her for now. Oh. Physical. I'll give her Ball Hounds as well. Alright, so we have some more skills now. Jesus. We also have a lot of Druidene, which is nice. Because I can go do the Red Prince's uh, story now that I have the Druidene. Oof. So that was difficult. Um, let me just go through and sort my spells a bit. Cloak and Dagger over here. Shields up. Teleport heal. Want bang. Fire is less useful for me now. So I think we go fire, lightning. Hell strike. Ice fan, water. Alright, his bar's set up how I like it. Hers, not so much. Um, Ooh, so much shit going on. Um, we have... Bullhorns. That actually isn't too bad as it's set up currently. Swap these two. Put 
my heel off to the right. Probably not a bad idea. All right, we're good. So I've sorted out all my inventory and my hotbars and stuff. We now have a lot more versatility and a lot more spells. Um. Poof. Spile is here. We'll ignore her for now. Hey, buddy. I have some Druden, eh? To sleep. A chance to dream, dear prince. So you'd like to discover what he sees in his dreams after all. But first, um, I want a couple of spells from here. Notably peace of mind and haste. The rest I don't care about. The damage spells I don't care about, but the buff spells are particularly good from... Um, I, I have too much crap. 539. Uh, take these back. How much do I need to lose? 30. That'll probably do it. Perfect. Oh. So you like to discover what he sees in his dreams after all. And, and I see you brought the leaf. Blessed Prince, bearer of gifts, I thank you. Now, mm, yes, let us partake. He greedily takes the Drudene from you and chews it vigorously until his eyes begin to glaze. A yawn, a few mumbled words, and the lizard falls asleep. You sit in the sand, close your eyes, and follow him. From shadow comes sunshine, your home. You're in your own palace atop the great library tower. You behold the forbidden city, only... It's infinitely bigger than you remember. A sea of white marble that reaches as far as the eye can see. Stingtail is here too, but when he addresses you, another voice lurks behind the dreamers. From shadow comes sunshine. Quite right, your majesty. But not if the shadow gets its way. You have questions in here. I have answers. Ask who the shadow is. Who wants you dead? The shadow itself. The House of Shadows. The House of Shadows? Surely that house is a myth. It is real, and it is all about us. It is the pale face caught in the corner of one's eye that makes us turn around in sudden terror of the unperceived. No one knows the House of Shadows exists. Therein lies its victory. But we, the dreamers, we know them. And we do not leave them to weave their black webs around our empire, unperturbed. The mighty houses of war and law, they are the true shadows, unaware of the dark sun that rules their days. Now, the house of shadows moves against you, but in the house of dreams, you have an ally. We pledge allegiance to you, the one and only prince, a one and only king to be. We see the golden throne. We see you, the shimmering flame, amid the gold. You suppose this is a metaphor? I'm the sunlight, correct? Of course you are. The spouse of the sun, the red prince, and so much more. This is the change he was referring to. Quite so. But let's not discuss the change just yet. Steam tail stung too soon. Right now we must ensure your safety. Should you perish, the change perishes with it. No enough for now. What should you do next? You must escape from the island you are on, break through Fort Joy's walls, and venture into the hollow marshes. Another dreamer awaits there, Bahara. She is a far greater dreamer than this sting tail. She can take you further through the realm of dreams. For much further you must go. So wake now, Prince. Wake and be wary. Be wary of the shadows that would snuff out the sunshine. You wake up, as does Stingtail. He yawns and stretches his arms. <coughs> well now, mm. what a dream that was. What a palace we saw. Can't say I remember much else, though. <coughs> Not a jot. Say that you at least won't forget with all that talk about the House of Shadows in a hurry. Shh! My word, my lord, you mustn't say such things aloud. Not in this world. What if they hear? They could be anywhere. So was it really of them that the dream voices spoke? 
Smile and shout that yes, the dream spoke of the House of Shadows. Oh, by all that is holy, your highness is too courageous for my taste. Such bravado does not favor my <coughs> constitution. It was a really good um, note there that when he was in the dream, he wasn't coughing, which is kind of a cool but let me little detail that they thought to put in. Majesty. Long may you live, and long may be your reign. If they'll let it. You know, I could tell you all about Swamp Dreamers too if I chewed that much Drudenay. <laughs> she has a point. Hold your prickly tongue. <laughs> That's a cool interaction. Alright. So we are now noticeably more powerful. And I feel pretty confident in taking on the... Uh, the skeletons that we tried to take on last time and failed to. Um, I'm also probably going to take on the rest of these um, dudes in Fort Joy. Um, there's a couple of guards over here. Uh, I think four guards and a dog, which is actually like a fairly significant fight in all honesty. Um, also, I can probably unlock these things now. <laughs> I forgot about these chests. Uh, you should be able to unlock these now. Oh, maybe not. Have I actually leveled up my civil abilities at all? No, I haven't. Good to know. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to go down here. And go and take on these skeletons again. Now that I'm one level higher and I have a lot more skills, it should be a lot easier. There are a lot of turns where I tried to take them on, where I couldn't do anything except auto attack. Which isn't exactly the best way to take them on. But now, look at all my spells. I'm fine. Um, do I have pyrokinetic on anyone? I don't think so. Not as of yet. Pyro zero. Pyro zero. Good to know. I'm gonna need um, a point in pyrokinetic to get those buff spells. I think on Lois. I think Lois is gonna be my my buffer more than the Red Prince. I think Red Prince is gonna focus damage and she's gonna focus buffing. Is the way that I'm gonna do it. Since she has encourage anyway, which is a buff. It just kind of works out that way. I also have fancy new shields now, which gives me a lot more survivability. Because we're talking like, yeah, shitloads. I have over 100 armor on the Red Prince, which is not insignificant. So if we go here, I should be able to buy that. There we go. Now, this should be easier. There we go. Half his magic armor is gone. Uh, he goes the rest. Interesting. That's a clever way of doing that. He can go away. I'm just going to deal with him later. Winter Blast here. We can then go for Encourage. We can cast Rain, which will stun and freeze him. Frozen, okay. These two will run at me and probably try and shoot me, but not much they can do from where they are. I'm a frost. Whatever. Should be able to hit both of them with that. So he stays frozen. Um. Send her further away. Probably isn't a bad idea. Send her over there. Don't have to deal with her for a while. Then...
I guess we just end turn. She might be able to shoot me from here, but... Yep, she got the ricochet, but I'm not too worried. He's still frozen. He can be frozen. Actually, he has 108. That's a lot of magic armor. Um, let us see here. I am now very, very hard to hit. Case in point, they missed. I should be able to take out the fire guy. Probably this turn, if I were to hazard a guess. 30 HP, I think I can take out 30 HP pretty easily. 15. 13. It's kind of annoying. Um... Yeah, I think we do adrenaline. That actually allows me to come all the way over here. And just take him out. Alright, Lois' turn. May as well give myself horns, I can do that immediately. That opens the bull rush ability. I can go down here for zero, because I am hasted. Bang. I missed! That sucks. But honestly, I'm not too worried about it. She's shocked. If she tries to move, she'll be stunned. I do air damage with this bond, so I can actually just stun her. Um, and we'll go Chameleon Cloak, so I'm invisible. I'm with me. Oh no! It's a Laura. Hello? What the fuck is happening? So Laura, will you please get out of the electrified water? I just need to go through this quickly. Oh no, he's fine. He found a patch that wasn't electrified water. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stunned. And Winter Blast. Get rid of some magic armor. This should also get rid of some magic armor. Yes, mm -hmm. so much magic armor with magic shell on top of him. <laughs> I figured that's what he was going to go for. Why are you attacking Sir Laura? This little squirrel did nothing to you, you son of a bitch. Can't hit him with Dazing Bolt, that's a shame. Can I hit you with Dazing Bolt? I can. Does ludicrous amounts of damage. Um, sure. I mean, I guess just bull rusher. Uh, how did you fall over? Uh, this could be a problem. I mean, I say a problem. It's not gonna be a problem, but it, it could be annoying. Uh, that should freeze him. Yep.
What is your path interrupted by? I guess I have to move, unfortunately. Okay, kill her. How did that not kill her? Oh, she had magic armor. Right. Right, right, right. Um... Nice. Nice. Alright. So we can end that turn. Your turn. You can straight up freeze him. Chilled. Uncanny Evasion 1? It is. Okay. So I can do this. Which will probably outright kill him. Indeed. Um, I'll Uncanny Evasion myself. Uncanny Evasion did nothing, <laughs> unfortunately. But we can get over here. He doesn't have a lot of physical armor, but I don't have a lot of physical damage as it stands. I need to get some more necromancy spells. Daisy Bolt, motherfucker. He's shocked. And he's frozen. Nope, just chilled. Interesting. That's annoying, but I can deal with it. Wait, did you fall over on the ice? He did. That's fantastic. Ridiculous, but fantastic. Um, I guess encourage. Magic armor is gone. Ice fend. As I said, the versatility makes a difference. So that was substantially easier this time. Being able to get through their armor is what made that easier, by the way. Um, I don't have the strength to get in here, do I? You might. You do. 12 is enough, apparently. Alright. So we have the Eagle-Eyed Guardian, the Aeromancer Guardian, the Cryomancer Guardian. Apparently all have nothing. And then there is... A fire guardian who was like up here. Fireman's guardian, here he is. He has some pants. Good to know. Alright, so you can open these because you're stronger. Ooh, you can't open that one. Won't budge. You can do it. Um <laughs> Encourage there gives you plus one strength, by the way, which is why I could open them. Alrighty then. Take this, take this skull. I no longer need Buddy's key, so we'll take Buddy's key and we combine that with this soap. We'll give us a lockpick. I think I've said that before, but if you combine a a lockpick, where's the skull? Here we go. If you combine a lockpick with a bar of soap, you will actually get a. Excuse me. You will actually get a lockpick, which is really, really cool. A bar of soap with a key will give you a lockpick, I should say. Uh, needle and thread, we don't need. Short sticks, no longer need. Sheets of paper I can get rid of. Sparkle card, I'm just going to drop because it no longer has a use. So Halo's Abnia is good.
Alrighty then. I think we're good. I don't need either of these. I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell the regular healing potion. Eh, am I? No, I'm not. Maybe I... Yeah, I am. Okay. And we're going to sell all this Druidine for a shit ton of money. 2100 bucks for that Druidine. Drugs is expensive. Lois is still carrying around a well-worn chest. For some reason. I mean, okay. Alright. So this episode is actually fairly long at this point, because before I even started the episode, turns out we were going for like 15 minutes without me trying to. So we are actually further into this episode than I thought we were, but... There's a few more fights we can do here. As I said, I wanted to do the ones at the front of Fort Joe Square, which I'm far more comfortable doing now. If we can do it from a good position, though, it would be even better. And while I'm here... It's you. It's really you. You gave him hell, did you? I assume she's talking about your victory in the arena, and describe how you won. She sits at full attention, utterly wrapped in your retelling. It might just be you, the one. You might be him. You are the reigning champion of Fort Joy. She clasps her blackened hands before her, and seems for a moment on the verge of weeping. Then you're our best hope. You may become the one. Can I sell her shit? I can. I'll take it. Ask her what she means. What does she mean by the one? She looks around, checking for prying ears, and lowers her voice. It would mean everything. The one will prove himself above all others. The one will become divine. You may be the one to save us all. Ask her what you should do now. There's only one thing to do. I've got to set you free. Your collar. Let me take it off. Agree immediately. You can't wait to get this damn thing oh, off. A privilege on me. She manipulates the ring around your neck in several quick yet intricate motions. Off pops your collar, and a sense of relief swirls from deep within you. You hear me now. You get out of this place. You keep fighting. You become the one. And you think of old Nibora when it's all over. We now are no longer bound by a source collar, which is awesome. There's the Broken Souls Collar. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a Broken Souls Collar and it's unbreakable. Um, <laughs> but that allows us to put on this amulet, or this one. Intelligence and Lucky Charm. Both good. And Poison Resistance. I'll wear Sahelia's amulet for now. We will get better amulets pretty quickly, but this is a quest amulet anyway, so... Alright. I'm going to give it a quick save, and we're going to take on these guys. This is not a simple fight, but I think probably simple enough that we can take it on. I'm actually going to run away. 4 AP. The dog will run after us first, but I'm actually out of combat, insanely. I don't actually want to get out of combat. Run back to here? Alright, encourage. I've still got Lois in combat. The Red Prince, however, is not. Which could be very useful. Alright, now he is. And it looks like Nabora is going to fight for us. And as is Dominic. Good to know. Unexpected, but I'll take it. Um, give yourself Uncanny Evasion. Make this dog go away.
Winter Blast. He's fortified. I don't really care about fortified. No bomb grenade. Oh, he got the dog. I see. I was like, how the hell can he shoot an arrow from that far? But he was shooting the dog to put the dog out. Nabora could die here. Very easily. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to keep her alive. I can do some serious damage here. Eh. She has all the shit I sold her, so she'll probably keep herself alive. <laughs> Okay, she'll be fine. Yeah, they're saving each other. It'll be fine. Oh, apparently he's in the fight now as well. They're all in the fight. Goddamn. Well, okay then. I want to keep Gowan alive. It's mutiny, folks. Alrighty then. So they're all frozen. That's a thing. Incredible. Um... Gives me a slightly better angle, also hastes me, which is why I did that. Um, go shields up, get some fiddle armor back, just in case they hit me with archers. Then we can end the turn. Oh, don't run in there, buddy. I have AoE. These two idiots are gonna run in and die. I can see it right now. <laughs> the cynic in me. Kind of hopes Dominic dies because then I can take all this shit around the uh, the thing because it wouldn't have an owner anymore around the shrine. Because technically he's the one who quote unquote owns all that shit around the shrine, I think, if I remember correctly. Nabora is currently OP. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um. I mean, I guess just... You'll be busy. Take him on, I suppose. Cool? Gowan can do some work. Jesus. Um... I'll give myself bullhorns, because it's free, I may as well. Uh, they got annoyed, but they're not angry at me, so that's fine. Let's put out some of this fire, because honestly, fire is a problem. And... We'll actually heal... I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to heal them. Let's heal Nabora. I'm invisible. Alright, that'll do. Uh, 
I think Dominic's gonna die. I could have prevented that, but I kind of didn't want to. I'll be honest. Wait, no, that's Dominic. Okay. No, that's Vizar. That's what I thought. Yeah, Dominic died. Vizar is there. And then there's Jeff. He's likely gonna die as well. These crazy bastards running into a Magister fight. I don't know why. Coming in and doing roundhouse kicks. Oh yeah. <laughs> the boar are just murdering them all. They don't give two shits. <laughs> Vizar's dead. All right. Um. Sure. I mean, I guess just attack. Timory, I guess. This turned out to be oddly easy. He's dead. Okay, he's keep he's keeping him alive. All right. We're at the very fight-heavy stage of the game, or at least of the first act. There's a very slow start, and then there's a shitload of fighting, and then there's a slightly slower section, and then back to a shitload of fighting, and then you leave. Um, it's pretty much how the first act goes. I do love it, though. Um, Alright, you're too far away. How far can you jump? Pretty far. Get to here. And pretty much just take all his magic armor away. I'm actually gonna do adrenaline. Dazing bolt. That was unfortunate. Luckily it didn't hit Jeth. Although Jeth's gonna die anyway, I have a feeling. Alright. Shocked, give him a self on Kenny Evasion. And we Nento. Clever. Use the water arrow to stun him. These civilians are just getting in my way at this point. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they joined the fight, though. Um, it's because I pulled it back as far as I did. Actually, teleport him out of there. Just so he's not in my way. I can't... Nabora often joins the fight because she usually likes you because you're the one. But the other ones... Nowhere near as often do they join that fight. Three health and he's burning, so he's just dead next turn. Yeah, it's fine. Sweet! So we get all their shit. Um, Vizar is here too. Source Hound Rika. I think that's everyone? Yeah. Alright. So everyone in Fort Joy pretty much is dead. Like all of the Magisters. Uh, the only ones left are... There's a few... If we go through this gate, which we have the key for. And up here, there's another fight. And then there's a docks further down that has another fight. And then we've taken out pretty much all the Magisters. Also, in the basement, there is a Magister that we want to take out as well. But, we did some work there, that's for sure. We have a crumpled note. Just outside Fort Joy, aid awaits for the Silver Claw. Tell Ben Mez to seek a traitor named Zelaskar at the lip of the swamps. Zelaskar will be waiting with a smuggled weapon for his mission. Ah. So that was the guy that uh, Ifan was supposed to talk to. Um, we now have a bunch of large divine, divine order keys. So that's something. 
Ooh, an unidentified one-handed sword. We don't have identify, that's kind of annoying. Uh, that combined with sword probably still works. It does. <laughs> it's just any blade, I believe. Oh, apparently we had two teeth. What's happening? Maybe it doesn't work. Apparently it doesn't work. What if I do this? Okay, that was weird. That was very strange. Weird bug. Alright, so I'm going to identify the sword. All these things I'm doing. It's going to end up being a fairly long episode. Combat is just fairly long in this game as well, it's worth noting. Because it's turn-based and you have to think strategically. And like that took even longer because everyone joined. Um, but... Um, if you don't have Identify, you can go to a crafter. Um, mainly crafters, some general vendors will have it as well, but people who are, like, crafters, quote-unquote, so, like, she's a blacksmith, will be able to identify most stuff for you. And, as you can see, 16 gold, and it increased the value by a shitload. I didn't even check what it increased the value by, but it was a lot. Uh, she does not have enough gold to do this. Um... You have enough gold for that. Um, okay, is there anything else she has that I want? Probably not. I'm not going to go into summoning this time. Um, it's worth noting that summoning is very, very powerful, particularly on Lone Wolf. Uh, so, if you are thinking about it, Good to see. it's not a bad idea to go into summoning. Alright. Um, who's going to have money? Butter, probably, maybe. She may not have money, but she may have stuff that I want, so I'll go talk to Butter. Move along! Move along! She does indeed have tactical retreat. So, I'm gonna get myself a second tactical retreat. Don't want anything else here. First aid, maybe. Yeah, probably. Alright. So I've got both of them for later. I've decided I pretty much want... Adrenaline, Cloak and Dagger, First Aid, and Tattoo Retreat on both of my characters. Um, the more I'm playing this, the more I'm realizing that both my characters are going to end up... Identical. Um... <laughs> Not identical, but pretty damn close to to the same. Um, the main difference is I'm going to focus Red Prince on damage, and I'm going to focus Los more on support. Leave me. <coughs> Go. Um, we can get Infect. It's damn good. Decaying Touch, less relevant. Death Wish is really good as well. Mm. Do you know Mosquito Swarm? You do, right? No, you don't. Well, that's a shame. But... Take both. Uh, she is sick. <laughs> As you can no doubt see. But that's going to be it for this episode. Um, well, you can learn Infect. You can learn Mosquito Swarm. Actually, arguably should have given both to her, just so she could have some more physical damage. But... Take Infect instead of Mosquito Swarm, because it does more damage. And you need to reorganize some of this. Alright, I'm happy with this. That, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Anyway. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.